Peter, how you doing, buddy? Don't Peter me. I'm totally mad at you right now. What? What'd I do? Well, aside from the ethical dilemma of unleashing extremists onto the people of San Francisco, or the fact that you started drinking again, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you tried to kill everyone just to stop the inversion spell. <laughs> that was totally because of the stuff in Genosha. You can't blame me for that. Yeah, I just... <sighs> Could you just go through one crossover without making a total ass of yourself? Hmm. Well, um, I saved the day in fear itself. By getting drunk with a bunch of dwarves. Yes, yes, I recall. Oh, well, I guess it's all good now that everything's back to normal. Hmm. What? You are back to normal, right? Of course. I mean, of course. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Nothing. You seem upset. Want a drink? No, thanks. I'm just a little nervous. Daredevil says last time he talked to you, you got bored with the conversation and threw him off the balcony. Well, I don't remember anything like that, but it sounds about right. But I'm pretty sure I can cure that guy's blindness, so I assume it's all good. Yeah, I'm sure everything will work out just fine for you. See, you're being snippy. What's going on? I don't know, I'm just tired. Why? You busy or something? Oh, well, I was just being relentlessly hunted by a family of super vampires and wrestling control of an army of alternate versions of myself from a different version of me back when I was controlled by a supervillain. So that I could use said army to fight the vampires and save Spider-Man from all over the multiverse, being hunted and devoured like animals. Sure, sure. Typical superhero stuff. And on top of all that, I had to deal with everyone getting inverted and turning into an asshole for a while. Plus, what was going on with that incursion stuff? That sounds like a big deal too, and I haven't had any time to deal with Anything! Oh, don't you worry, your pretty little brain about those. Pretty little brain? It's fine, the universe definitely isn't ending. We'll be totally fine. I'm starting to get a little worried here. I didn't say anything about Reboot. Wait, Reboot? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Look, forget I said anything. The Reboot is only a rumor at this point. It's totally, probably, definitely, maybe, hopefully, not gonna happen. Okay, you are making me very nervous right now. I have a bad, bad, bad experiences with reboots. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, well, reboots, my terrible life, and your overall horrible behavior aside, I'm trying to make a point here. Well, you're not doing a very good job. Well, I'm just wondering if it's all a bit too much. I mean, between everything going on right now, and all that business with the Watcher and Thanos that just happened. And that stuff with Ultron! No, technically that stuff never happened. Oh, that's right. I forgot we don't know that story exists. My point being, between all of this stuff, don't you think it's a bit too much? Too much? What do you mean? Well, it's getting to the point that I have no idea how everything fits together, and I can't keep track of anything. And I'm smack dab in the middle of all this stuff. To the casual observer, this probably seems like utter endless chaos. So, what are you saying? That we should band together less often? I just say that it draws a lot of attention away from our personal lives when everyone is paying attention to whatever big event is going on in any given week. But the people love when we all band together and save the day. Is that what you call it? I usually just think of these things as the annual party where everyone gets together and destroys New York City. I don't know, man. I'm just saying that when we all have big events all the time, they're not really all that big, are they? If you want to have big special events that actually change our lives as we know it, need to parse them out a little bit. Otherwise, the only story that everyone is going to pay attention to is these big events themselves. And not all these great little moments and details that make our stories great. But that encouraging stuff has been building up for like two years, and everyone is complaining about how long that is taking. Well, that would be a more convincing argument if like four or five big crossovers hadn't happened in those two years. Building up to events is good, and that might make an incursion story big and epic. But it sure is going to feel like it has less impact and importance after coming off the heels of everything else that has just freaking happened. Oh, trust me. I have a feeling these incursions are leading to something bigger than what we've seen in a while. But you told me not to worry about it. You shouldn't worry about it. Okay, good. I... won't? I didn't say anything about a reboot. Okay, why do you keep saying that whenever we talk about incursions? No reason. I mean, it's not like some company that controls all of our lives would have many reasons to do that, and has been clearly pulling out all of the stops with big crazy stories and changes in characters lately. That would be crazy! Even though that would perfectly explain why so many big things have been happening to us lately. But I don't want a reboot! I don't think anyone wants that! And there clearly won't be one. I mean, hypothetically, if there was to be a reboot, it wouldn't be that bad, right? We can't get rid of all those pesky continuity and start fresh. No, no, no. There are rumors of a reboot, aren't there? Maybe. That's not good. 
I know it sounds tempting, but it really messed things up for our distinguished competition. And it makes continuity confusing, we lose a sense of legacy and history. Yeah, this conversation bores my sexy brain, and you're making arguments that I don't like. So I'm just gonna throw you off my balcony now. Wait, what the hell? How are you moving that fast? No! Ah! Bye, Peter! Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our website for the latest events and their reading order. It's the best way to catch up on the latest in the world of comics. We also have a Facebook page where we post all our videos and news in the comics book world. You can also check out our Twitter site if you'd like to know more about comics. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.